what is up and welcome back to my channel shade tv my name is marissa hill if you need my channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it and feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have on supreme week 10 and do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of videos coming out that we do not want you to miss So let's get into discussing how Supreme Week 10's drop went for me personally online. The struggle was real. Please feel free to vent down below in those comments. But uh, I don't know why I even thought I had a chance of, you know, potentially copying a fleece online. But I swear it probably took me five seconds maybe at most to just load to the color and size that I wanted and by the time I got to that page on Supreme's website it was already sold out so my heart was broken but that's okay I was like no worries let me try and cop this beanie that I can match with my other fleece that I currently have and I went and it said card payment declined but then, like literally 15 minutes later, I got a charge and I added up with the taxes and everything and it equivalated to the price that Supreme charged me for. So fingers crossed, I have no clue because I have still not received a confirmation email. I only got that charge, but I'm just hoping that I actually am going to get that beanie because it's perfect and I'm never gonna find a beanie that matches my fleece more perfectly than that one so we shall see it was a rough morning to start and not to mention a crappy weather day here in New York for those of you who are local here such a crappy day outside today I have a feeling it's gonna push me to get a specific item due to the rain but uh, we'll check in later with you guys It has been raining cats and dogs. Not like I'm not used to it because I'm from Seattle, so pretty used to the rain, uh, but definitely I think was an influence on some of the cops. I was able to, to get today, as you guys can see what I'm wearing here. Uh, I was actually out in the rain, guys, and I think I only have three droplets left. The coat is completely dry besides these like two little droplets there. So definitely a waterproof coat, but we're gonna talk about this last. I'm gonna get into the first few items that I was able to cop. Then we're gonna talk about uh, the sellout times and then conclude with how some of these items are reselling currently. Let's get into the first pickup that I got. As I mentioned, you guys, I was really stoked about this cap and I wasn't sure what the supreme box logo coloring scheme was going to be because of course out of all the colors this one was faced this way so i was just like seriously guys like how do we even know if i'm going to get this um also i didn't mention but this is a very high quality ball cap it's a laura piana uh ball cap and it's legit like extremely fine wool this stuff is like so soft my goodness i was shocked honestly at the price of this cap it was 58 dollars, and this brand is so expensive it's one of those brands even if it's like 80 percent off it's still not obtainable or affordable to buy so i was extremely happy that i was able to cop this purple i honestly wish i would have snagged like a black or a navy color as well uh, but you know, this is a nice, this is a nice tone. I definitely don't have really any hats in this colorway. It also has a beautiful leather here going on. We've got that engraved Supreme on the back. This is like probably the nicest leather that I felt on any of the Supreme hats thus far. Like this is legit a like superior hat as far as like quality and the materials that they use hence you know this brand obviously that they've collabed with makes total sense as to why this hat is amazing let's just put it on here so you guys can check it out see what that looks like see if you can see how soft the wool is oh 
Doesn't even feel like wool, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like it's kind of has cashmere in it, but this is, I guess, the finest wool. As it says on the tag on the inside. Definitely a keeper for the winter time because this is going to keep my head warm. I was like unsure of adding more hats to my collection, but I was like, I don't have a wool one. So happy to add this one. All right, so next up, if I can actually get it out here, it's stuck. Oh, goodness. We have this one of the bags we can start. It has like dust on it. So this is one of the items I was actually really excited about. I have so many fanny packs and this one I was like, do I want the backpack? Mm, I already have a backpack. And I'm trying to actually see, it looks like the red colorway and this sold out the fastest, but this is the S logo shoulder bag. And I really like the size of this. I mean, I'm excited because, let's see actually if we can do this, but this is my iPad. I'm actually gonna test it out and see if this will fit in here. If it fits in here, that's amazing because I have to take my iPad everywhere with me because this is kind of like where I keep my portfolio and I have to take it to castings and all that fun stuff. Wow. All right. Definitely winner. This fits perfectly. My iPad fits perfectly in the case in this bag and you're actually able to just do the snap on top of that. So there's a little bit of extra room, but that is the perfect measurements for an iPad. So for those of you who are looking for a amazing bag to carry your iPad, this is waterproof. So definitely going to keep my iPad safe on a rainy day like today. Uh, the thing I love the most about it, obviously, is that massive S logo there. I love the black because it's going to go with everything. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. And on the bottom, we've got that Supreme and the North Face logo in that corner on the right. And on the back, we've just got that button that says North Face. Oh, and on the front, we actually have another pocket here, guys. Ooh, and inside of there, looks like we've got other compartments. So you probably put your wallet in here. See that? And then it looks like we've actually got a place for a pen. It's like a pen pocket and another pocket that would probably fit some more cards or sticky notes, whatever you want to compartmentalize in there. But I do love how it has that organizer. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna just unsnap this and see what else we have going on in the main compartment if there's any other pockets. So nope, looks like there are no pockets going on on the inside of here, but I do like that you can definitely feel that this is like that nylon waterproof material. So whatever you put in this bag is definitely going to stay dry and it's very weatherproof. Let's see what else we've got on this North Face tag here. We've got a warranty limited warranty so if anything happens you have a warranty with this bag which is pretty cool any defects visit north face and they will fix it for you all right so in love with this bag it was priced at 58 dollars, which i think was a great price point for this and i'm definitely going to be using this anytime it rains outside because I honestly have no purses that are waterproof and there's nothing more frustrating than bringing out my purses that are leather and ruining them. So definitely one item that I'm definitely gonna get lots of use out. And of course we've got the straps that you can elongate for that cross body look, or you can wear it like a purse or a man purse. I mean, I don't really think this is too uh, demasculating. It's where I keep all my things. I get a lot of compliments on this. Plus it's not a man purse, it's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. I think this is a great bag for a guy or a girl, and it's extremely useful, especially because, again, that little extra front pocket zip with those different compartments. Right, now let's get to the grand finale, shall we? Let me just actually turn my iPad back on. As you guys can see, I was able to get the S logo. Uh, sorry, logo mountain jacket. I'm like, why is this not turning on? So I got the S logo mountain jacket. 
I didn't really feel like spending $700 and this was kind of that like, okay price point for me. It was pouring today and I thought to myself, I've already copped a fleece. So I'm happy with that fleece. It's different, the color blocking's amazing. And I just didn't really have a good raincoat in my closet currently. So I decided to get the S logo in the red and it's got obviously the black kind of details throughout as well. Um, coming from Seattle, coming from an area where it rains a ton, I basically lived in my North Face coat all through college because I mean there was a lot of outdoor walking the parking lot was like literally 25 minutes I feel like to my first class uh, but this is definitely a great brand when it comes to just weatherproof weatherproofing yourself and keeping yourself warm and dry especially a day like today it was extremely windy the rain is just like kind of batting you around got a great hood that really kind of stays in place because you've got some fasteners in here as well. You can even button it up. Let's see, let's just uh, let's play around with this guys while, while we have it on. Let's just zip it all the way here and see if we can get it to button up here. We've got the additional snaps on top of the zipper. So that's definitely gonna provide some extra warmth but as you can see, it actually goes all the way up here and find this last snap. So in the winter time in New York, this is essential because your entire face, I swear to you, gets so cold. Can you guys see me? It's like an igloo in here, but uh, yeah, that's how far it goes. So just the eyes. I mean, this is perfect for a time like now, right? Because we're already wearing masks and I feel like this is kind of that height of where a mask would go, but definitely going to keep the wind and rain off of your face which is nice all right get me out of here come out of here wow these snaps are like no joke not gonna lie that like literally is going nowhere we have a pocket on the inside here so it's just like a hidden hidden pocket it's cool let's see how big of a pocket oh um, yeah you know you could fit um some keys and a wallet in there if you wanted to keep it nice and toasty we've got the two side pockets on the side the big s logo on the front as well as the back and that north face supreme detailing on the side but overall i really actually love the red the most i think this is one of my favorite colors out of the three. I wasn't so sure I could pull off the lime green, so this was kind of my safe bet. As far as sizing goes, I decided to get a size medium, and that being said, because I like to layer in the wintertime, this is definitely not a coat that's gonna be warm enough for the winter, but it does have extremely soft fleece on the inside here. Uh, this is the only area as well that's just slightly damp, um, but this fleece is all throughout the lining on the inside and it stops at the arms and then the arms no longer have that fleece on the inside as you can see there then we have some fasteners at the bottom which is great so even though 
this could be a little long in length for me. I love that it has the fasteners so I can tighten it and kind of roll it up. Uh, but I will say I expected it to be a bit longer um, and I think lengthwise it is on the shorter end so that was a bit surprising. Uh, other than that I do think a small for me personally with the layers may have been a little bit too tight. I don't think I would have been able to fit like a thick hoodie and maybe a fleece underneath this. Uh, so I'm definitely happy with the medium size that I went with. Again I'm 5'10 for those of you who don't know but I do have more of a short torso. Again, since I have a short torso and this isn't what I thought lengthwise it would be, this may be pretty short on somebody who's a bit taller than me. Just a heads up on that. Wow, um, finally dried off. Getting some nutrition in me right now. I'm starving. Shocked that my items that I got aren't soaked. Hopefully by the time we shoot them, they're not like literally dripping wet, but um, we'll see. Like Alright, so now let's get into the solid times quickly. Let's talk about some of the most popular items. Of course, as I thought, what would have sold out first was the black small North Face fleece jacket in 6.9 seconds, followed by the red in a large at 7.2, then the green at 7.4 in an XL then an XL black, then a green, then a black, then a green. All right, let's just say all the fleeces sold out in around eight seconds. Then next up was the S logo mountain jacket in that black colorway in 9.1 seconds, followed by the small in 11.4. Then the uh, extra large looks like fleece was followed by the small red in 12 seconds. Then the S logo mountain jacket and that small was, uh, let's see that one, 12.4, followed by the mountain jacket in the lime. Then the binoculars went in 12.8 seconds. So pretty much I would say all sizes in the fleece as well as the mountain jacket. And uh, looks like the binoculars went in under, everything was pretty much, pretty much gone around 20, seven to 30, 30 seconds or so. Actually a couple, a couple of the Himalayan parkas went in around 43, which I did believe that those would probably take a little bit longer to sell out just because that price range was a little higher than expected. And of course I know those pinup chino pants did pretty well because I know that those people who are going for those pants obviously caught the jacket in the previous week. And those went around 38 to 40 seconds. All right, guys, so now let's conclude with resell and talk about how uh, some of these items are currently doing. All right, so let's jump into the resell. We're gonna start with this Laura Piana hat. You would be surprised out of all the colors, this color is actually doing the best. Um, I usually always say this when I'm talking about drops. For some reason, these kind of dusty roses, dusty pinks, this is called the dusty light pink color, tend to do very well in Supreme. And it's mainly because I think people forget a lot of women love Supreme. A lot of women. I even found a woman the other day just randomly on my photo shoot who was all over Drops by Jay. So it just proves and goes to show that, you know, these certain colors tend to do well because girls are out there, man. They want to buy this. And this is a great, I feel like, color either for men or women. Uh, but this is reselling for $100. Again, this retailed at $58. So definitely not so bad for a hat like that. That was the last sale actually on the dusty light pink. It was $100. All right, so now let's talk about the Supreme logo shoulder bag. The black is currently doing the best out of the three colors. So the red is going for around $80. The lime green is in between around 87 and the black is going for around $90. And again, this went for $58. Let me double check that, yeah, $58. Same as the hat. All right, and last but not least, the S Logo Mountain Jacket, which we held at $388, is currently going around all sizes, 500 and up. Small's doing the best currently. 
uh, but I do think that this is going to retain its value. I haven't seen Supreme do this massive S logo with North Face ever. So this is something that is just extremely different. And you know, when you see it on your body, it actually is pretty flattering. And I actually really was shocked and surprised at how I would feel until I actually tried this jacket on. I mean, it's one thing when you're seeing it in pictures, but when you're seeing it in different lights and different environments, it really, you know, isn't something that I thought would be so crazy and out there, which I originally thought I was like, wow, this may be too big of an S, but you know, I actually feel good about it. I feel like rocking this in, in the rain. I'm cool with it. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in to another one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions about what you guys were able to cop this week or if you just took a pass, as well as your thoughts on some of the items that I cop. Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, guys, we have a ton of heat coming out. So do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do want to alert you as soon as we have any new and upcoming content. All right, so until next time, this is Shay TV. My name's Marissa Hill. We will see you on the next video.